Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. We're at Interop 2012. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. The month is May, and on our program is Jack Jackner. He is with Alcatel Lucent. He is a VP of Business Development of the Open Touch uh, Products. And Jack, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rich. I'm glad to be here. We're thrilled to have you too. As I mentioned off camera, I've, I've worked with so many divisions of your company in the last few years, and I just haven't uh, haven't spoken with anyone from Enterprise Voice in a little while, so I'm very excited to hear what's new and exciting at the company. That's, thank you for the opportunity to catch up. So, um, in Alcatel Lucent, we have a focus on enterprise, both from a data and a voice point of view. In the Enterprise Voice side, we provide enterprise communication solutions, uh, and collaboration solutions, and we are now actually uh, coming out with our Open Touch a solution for the enterprise, both which enables a, a rich contextual presence-based, IM-based, video incorporating way for uh, enterprise users to communicate and collaborate. Fantastic. Now, uh, in terms of how it compares to other solutions on the market, like let's let let's take some of the. Um, consumer type solutions, how, do, how would your solution compare from a collaboration standpoint to let's say a consumer type solution that sometimes grows inside an organization? Well that's actually uh, our response to that influx of consumer type devices, of tablets, of smartphones that are coming into the, device, into the enterprise. We have a connectivity solution, a bring your own device security solution, but also now with the newly announced open touch conversation user interface for these devices. We are now rolling out an enterprise quality, uh, enterprise security uh, focused solution that really brings a uniformity between the experience at the desktop with a computer, with a desk phone, with the mobile device, and the consumer device that people are bringing into the office. So for us, it's really bringing together all those multiple devices, all the media that people now use in the consumer world, be it presence, be it instant messaging, video is becoming popular. These devices are now video enabled, our uh, laptops are video enabled. We now need a enterprise quality server in the back that brings it all together. And for Alcatel Lucent, that's open touch. Now, how does it work with some of the other platforms that are out there, the other software solutions, uh, it, it interfaces with them seamlessly? Does it federate? It is a very open solution. It is SIP based. It has interfaces to other desktop applications which are popular. It has SIP interfaces that are tested with the carriers. We have over 60 carriers that we have certified. We are a global enterprise solution provider and uh, with the scale both from the SMB so the mid-market large enterprise, and we also have a strong presence in the carrier space. Now, uh, one of the divisions that you had that was strong in the enterprise space was Genesis. Uh, I'd followed them since the mid-90s. They were known as a middleware provider in the computer telephony space. And recently, that was spun off. How does that affect uh, your business, if at all? Well, for the enterprise uh, division and uh, what we're doing for enterprise communications, uh, it actually focuses us on the communication collaboration side. We had a very good partnership with Genesis and that continues. We both in terms of bringing each of our products to market, we continue with uh, cross uh, marketing uh, schemes in place, but also development. We have uh, shared our knowledge and pooled our, our code. So we each now have the capabilities of each other. Now that we are focused on enterprise communication and collaboration, we find that we have renewed strength in going after the, that aspect of the market in the enterprise voice division. Now another thing that you mentioned was that your company focuses not only on the enterprise but on the carrier space and uh, in the past you competed with a company like Ericsson that also had a PBX division and also had a carrier division and they spun off the PBX division. We also had Nortel that was in both spaces and Nortel's no longer around as Nortel and they, they, they sold off pieces to different companies. So it kind of puts you in this interesting position where you're able to leverage enterprise and carrier. Um, how does that help you? How does, if it hurts you at all, how, does, how do you look at that, 
that uh, synergy and I guess potential for challenges? For, for us, we consider that a unique advantage. With our entry and our credibility with carriers, we are in a very strong position now that enterprise communication uh, can be put in the cloud and there's a lot of development that we're doing to put solutions such as OpenTouch in a cloud format. Uh, we also have data center solutions for cloud and we're leveraging all of that both for carrier deployments and for large enterprise data center hosted cloud deployments. So what that gives us is economies of scale, a broader market reach. Our customers for OpenTouch are both enterprise and carrier base, which are providing services to enterprise. Now what's interesting to me is that I've spoken with people way back, maybe 10, 15 years ago at Nortel, that used to tell me that if you were to look at their sales of enterprise versus carrier, they would both be like sine waves, where the, and they would just be off like by 90 degrees, meaning that, uh, if, if that's accurate, going back to engineering days, but basically when the, the carrier market was up, yeah, the, the timing is different enterprise was markets, down yes. and vice versa. So basically what you did was you leveled off your earnings across, across your, uh, your years, regardless of the cycle of the market and you know, economic cycles. So it's interesting to me that you're the only company that is leveraging what I heard was a great strength. Now you might argue that what happened in Nortel, if that was so, so strong, why, why did it hurt them and why are other companies divesting themselves of one division or another? And the same thing with Genesis, right? Why would you, do the, why would you sell off Genesis? People may be asking that. So. Well, it was a great opportunity. Genesis was a great opportunity for us. We bought it as a, a, a kind of a, a, a mid-growth startup. We grew it, we gave it access to our customers and we sold it at a, at a wonderful uh, bump in, in terms of the investment that we put into it. So that was just a good opportunity for us to, to do that. Uh, in terms of the, the cycle, the market cycle in the enterprise versus what's happening in the care, we have seen that ourselves and that has helped us over the last 10 years. So there's been years that um, enterprise has been the shining star of the portfolio and uh, the major contributor to the the overall profit of the group. So uh, we continue to leverage that. We have strength in numbers. We have cross-pollination of both go-to-market and technology development. Now I would imagine, Jack, that now that the cloud is becoming such a big part of the enterprise decision and the SMB decision, that your ability to provide carriers with hosted platforms that mimic enterprise type solutions would actually put you in an unbelievable position as well. Yes, with the evolution of our product line and of technology, we now bring the years and years of uh, decades of experience in enterprise telephony. We actually worldwide have 100 million lines installed of enterprise communication wow. systems. And so we bring that forward now into a cloud platform. So we're not starting from scratch. We we are just adapting to uh, virtualization, uh, to data center architectures. Our solutions, which um, are proven, uh, and which we are now also moving into the other realms of multimedia, running on multiple devices, and being natively multi-party. Because a lot of what we do right now is collaborative, and that's why we're really excited to be one of the finalists for Best of Interop in the collaboration division. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for being on the program. Thank you, Rich.